when that particular particular piece of land um Cotton kind of was given it, if you like, because the land that they originally were using was given to Redland Green. It's on a long lease, isn't it? Yes, and at that time, both schools were under local authority control. We want this piece of land for Redland Green because that's a new school and we're going to give you, Cotton, the bit down at Stoke Stoke Lodge. Um, And that would be how it is. Since academisation has come round, the difference now um, is that the... Cottom's relationship as an academy has changed with the local authority. So if the local authority wants or needs Cottom to do something for them, if you like, like expand because we need secondary school places, Cottom is in a position yeah, or, or, any, or share for example or share yeah well the land is Bristol's though. It's Bristol's land and that's undisputed. If the local authority needs a, one of its secondary schools to expand, which it does because the local authority has to make sure there's a place for every child that it's responsible for, then the, an, an individual academy can refuse to do that. And I take the view that what's actually happened is Cotton has said, because they're about, they are expanding, we will expand Bristol, but we want to ha- we want you to sort that field out for us so that it's ours. That's my view. Um, and at national level, the ministers are discussing changing planning laws so that schools can build housing for their staff. And I think that, that is really be, yeah. an interesting thing to were, be looking there at. There were certainly, um, I think it was even a decade ago, on that particular piece of land at Stoke Lodge, there were some... Uh, uh, some sort of planning permission uh it was some sort of attempt at getting planning permission for buildings there we um, go yeah i'm not surprised yeah, you know i mean i'm not down. saying that cotton know that or that yeah. that's what cotton's got in mind but down the line if it goes through as is i would be shocked if 10 years from now there weren't houses on at least part of that land um so anyway the wonderful education landscape in bristol continues to flourish with the ofsted ratings declining in our local schools so why is that i mean we were told it was because 